Hey guys, this is Gert. We're going to talk today about how to write the factored form of a quadratic function from a graph. So here you see we have a nice quadratic function. Here is the factored form of a quadratic. P and Q are your zeros or x-intercepts. So the first thing you need to do is figure out where on the graph the quadratic equation, the parabola, crosses the x-axis. And it crosses in two places right here at negative three, zero, and here at two, zero. So we have two zeros or two x-intercepts. The first one is P, so in this case, P equals negative three. The second one is Q, so in this case, Q equals two. So the first thing we're gonna do is substitute those in for P and Q in our formula. We get F of X equals A times X minus negative three times X minus two. And then we have to simplify. So x minus negative 3 minus a negative becomes plus a positive. So we get f of x equals a times x plus 3 times x minus 2. Now, if you notice, we still have this a value that we haven't found yet. And there's a way you do that. The first step is to pick a point on the graph. It cannot be the vertex. So we can't pick this point right here because that is our vertex. But we can pick this point, which happens to be the y-intercept, and is the point 0, comma, negative 6. The x in this point is 0. The y in this point is negative 6. So those are going to substitute in our equation for the x and the f of x, because that's the same thing as y. So y was negative 6. That goes in for f of x. We get negative 6 equals a times x becomes 0 plus 3, and again, 0 minus 2. And then you just simplify each one of these parentheses. So 0 plus 3 is 3. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So currently, we have negative 6 equals a times 3 times negative 2. Multiply 3 times negative 2, negative 6. We get negative 6 equals a times negative 6. Which is really negative 6 equals negative 6a. That's probably a format you guys are more familiar with. Divide by the coefficient. So divide by negative 6. Okay. Negative 6 divided by negative 6 is 1. So here, a equals 1. So then to write our final formula, we go back up to this point and substitute the a value we just found. So it's going to be f of x equals one times x plus three times x minus two. Typically, we don't write that one in front, it's an implied one. So this would simplify to f of x equals x plus three times x minus, and that is the factored form. 